Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Appreciate you tuning in once again. So we got the Cornette finished up. The Dodge Cornette. The one that is green in color. The one that had a few issues with the paint. The paint actually went good. I just had some dilemmas, some, mm, some smudging, if you would. Uh, yeah, I had to redo the trunk a few times. Let's just go that route. Because of my fault. I had grease on my fingers. Who knows? Whatever it was. It was you know, I knew better. I should know better. But so the 68 Cornet, uh, the MPC, highly, highly recommend this kit. Highly recommend this kit. Um, it's a very nice builder. It goes together really well. My kit went together really nice. Uh, turned out pretty good in the end. Uh, the, only, the only glitch I would say with the kit for fitment wise was, man, putting that chassis onto the body. <sighs> that was tight. Tight. It was tight. But it went on. We got it. Not a big deal. So... Um, I got this kit from Mark from Hobby Nut Models. So if you guys are interested in one of these, go down to his website and check that out. I mean, he's got these in stock. So, uh, very nice kit. So, uh, like I said, I highly recommend you guys getting one. And, uh, they're nice builders. So I did not get the trailer done yet. It's actually kind of done, but I'm, I'm kind of rotting the trailer out a little bit. So the trailer is going to be in a future video coming up down the road. So, so for right now, I'm leaving the trailer hitch off. And um, one day, one day, when I get my diorama done, I said one day, um, I'm going to have it on the hoist and I'll have a guy putting the trailer hitch on, you know, like show him welded on there. That'd be cool. And then uh, and then we'll hook the trailer up to it and we'll go from there. And then we'll take it for a little cruise to the junkyard and haul a little junk in that trailer if it makes it. Yeah, something like that anyways. So it seems good in theory. It's That's where I'm going to go with it, so... Other than that, let's take you to the bench. Uh, gonna show you a little bit of finish up on the car uh, towards the end there, and uh, a final reveal on it. Let's go to the bench and uh, let's check it out. We are back on the Coronet, and we're gonna finish it. We're gonna get this done. So we got the seats, seats done, seat belts are done. I uh, got that rolling. I uh, had our chassis done from previous, and we're starting to get that interior together. So. Slowly picking at it. Got my dirty coffee cup. Things are better that way. And we got the body uh, foiled out. I uh, just got to do the back part of that window yet. So I think this turned out pretty cool. So the other thing I got to do is paint the back. I got to do that in black. And yeah, other than that, it's looking pretty good. So bear around foiled the door handles. I uh, got them done. Just figured that'd look cool with those out of the way. And what else do we do here? Uh, the little turn signal indicators uh, did the foil job on those as well. So I'm going to go through and paint the inside of this with a mouthful marker. Because uh, you guys know that's really hard to foil that without getting it all nasty looking. So I just cut it back and call it a day. So the net, like I say, we got everything going back together. And we'll see how she turns out here in a few minutes. All right, guys, the interior is together. Not nothing over the top. Threw some floor mats in it. Uh, threw some floor mats in the front. Took my decal sheet and cut some STP logos out. And I got some gauges in there. Like I said, nothing too over the top. I just got to put the shifter in and it'll be done. So, yeah, like I say, it's, it looks all right. So, I figure we'll get this put in and all that good stuff. So, I got the body cleaned up. From the residue from the bare metal foil so it's looking pretty good and just gotta paint that back pillar piece and paint the visors and we should be good to go on the body all right guys a little finish up on the 68 dodge coronet kit so this was a pretty nice little build after i got my paint situation all done up so yeah i think this turned out pretty cool i love the color can't go wrong with a nice metallic green. So yeah, so we had some bumper stickers in the kit, so I threw them on there. That looked pretty cool. So my interior, I used uh, my various colors of black, and I put some floor mats in there. So I bare metal foiled the hood, took a little bit of panel line, put in the inside there, give it a little bit of a depth. That turned out pretty cool. Did my little markers up on the top of the fender for your blinkers. And put a little touch of uh, orange in there, a little amber. 
can barely see it, but it, it is there. So yeah, so then that turned out pretty nice. Thought we'd do this outside tonight because it's nice out. And uh, thought the green would look nicer with natural lighting. Sometimes I notice the fluorescent lights gives me a little bit of a different uh, little hue on the, on the paint. So I figured we'd do this tonight. So the engine, um, it's not really finished. I mean, it's, it's there, but I'll show you. I, I'll finish it eventually, but just not right now. So it's in the hole, uh, but I'm missing a valve cover piece there. And there's not even a battery in it, so there's no crank, no start. Like I say, the hood turned out pretty nice. Bare metal foil on there. I was a little nervous doing the bare metal foil on that flat, or that satin black, uh, just in case it didn't go right. Just in case, you know, I'd end up cutting. So, and to be honest with you, I don't know if I put the rest of the exhaust pipes on this or not. I think I left the intermediate pipes off. Oh, I did. Look at that. See, this is what happens. I come out here working late at night, you know, early, early mornings of the hour. So I got the holes drilled for this. So I have to mention those holes. Um, so nice thing about this kit, when you're, when you're working on it and you want to put, say, this convertible boot. Uh, they give you like little guide holes or pinholes on the bottom to drill. So if you want to do a, um, say put a part on it or whatnot, uh, and you're not really sure the location, even the mirrors, there's little holes underneath there you can just drill them out and everything pins together. So it's actually pretty, it's a pretty nice kit. So I'm pretty impressed with it. Sorry for the shakiness on the camera, guys. I'm crouched down holding the camera by hand so I usually have it on a tripod but yeah I gotta wipe the body down a little bit yet and I just kind of grabbed it out of the garage I finished this uh early this morning I guess if we don't go that route um yeah so I didn't polish or nothing it's not waxed or anything like that no clear coat it's just uh, like I say I had my issues with that trunk in the back that's it is what it is at this point I'm just gonna leave it alone it's like sake this rest of the car look pretty decent so I'm just going from there all right, guys, so that is the build on the 68 Dodge Cornette. So, so like I say, this model come from Hobby Nut Models, so, and I want to thank Mark for that. Uh, like I say, I got this from him a while back to work on this, and like I said, I was having issues with that paint, so I kind of put her on a back burner for a bit. So I figured, you know what, I'll get her done. Time to finish it up. So, so there we have it, guys. I appreciate you guys tuning in and following along. And we will see you guys on the next build. You guys have a good one.